Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you something that involves Mattel and their Baryonyx. I would consider this video as like a review slash rant <laughs> and slash fix. It's so expect me going on about Mattel, <laughs> but it's mainly a review and fix. So I've gone on record a few times uh, kind of complaining about Mattel's lack of quality recently, which, you know, I can understand because of the pandemic and all of that, but it was mainly towards the uh, Amber Collection line. But in this case, I will be reviewing the Baryonyx in the main Jurassic World line, specifically the Camp Cretaceous three and three quarter inch line. The figures that Mattel have released are based on Grimm, Limbo and Chaos, the three Baryonyx from the show. Grimm was released as a Primal Attack Soundstrike figure, while the other two are released as Dino Escape Roar Attack figures. The sculpt is pretty much the same, obviously with a couple of differences due to the action features being implemented. So the first one released was Grim, and the way it was operated was by grabbing the tail and moving it around. It would puppeteer the head, the jaw was poseable as well as all the limbs. The other two Baryonyx instead have a switch at the top which would allow the jaw to open and close. The limbs including the tail are poseable. The sculpt is really good, it's very detailed, except for the tails are a bit too short. Enough of that, uh, time to move on to the next part. Now it's time to subject these figures to my uh, harsh judgement. <laughs> Grim. This Baryonyx is quite unique. It's mainly a beige or tan base color with green patterns. Around the edges of the green patterns, there is a whitish stripe. The feature that sets this Baryonyx apart from the other two is a red pattern around the eye. So now comes my harsh judgment towards the paint applications by Mattel. So this Baryonyx is actually quite accurate except for half of its body. For some reason, they chose to make half of its body a different shade of green. She's the only one with painted toenails. Limbo. Mattel's Limbo probably has the most lazy paint job out of them all, which is a bit sad. It doesn't have any paint on the claws and the paint job stops at the base of the tail. Half of its patterns are brown and the other half are green. The brown patterns start from the head and they end midway on the back. Okay, so it's supposed to be a green dinosaur with brown patterns and a white outline around them. I don't know where that green came from. Chaos. This one has the exact same colors as the one from Fallen Kingdom. It's got some bluish patterns behind the eye and a little bit on the back of the neck. Again, Mattel went a bit lazy on this one and none of the claws are painted and the paint apps stop exactly by the hips, which <laughs> is just so bad. There is absolutely no paint at all on the back half of this figure, but it also doesn't have any paint on the legs. Okay, so these Baryonyx are supposed to pretty much have the same patterns all over. So it's supposed to have a pattern going on along the back of the dinosaur, all down through the tail and on the thighs. But uh, for some reason that I really can't comprehend, Mattel decided to make their job harder and instead of using the same color throughout the whole pattern of the body, they decided to go with different colors, which makes it more expensive for them. But the most frustrating thing for me is the back end portion of the figure is hidden inside the box. So when you go and buy the figure, you can only see the painted bit. So that's a bit cheeky. All right, so in this section of the video, I'm going to be repainting them. Well, not really repainting them. I'm adding paint to the tails and getting rid of that second color that shouldn't exist. So I'm pretty much fixing the figure's paint jobs. Um, which is how they should have been released in the first place. Right, so with Grim, I am going to mix some green paint and color match it with the first half of the patterns, which is the correct type of green. 
and I'm going to extend it all the way down covering that second uh, awful green and extending it all the way down the tail. Then when I'm done with the green, I'm just going to add a off-white line or stripe around the pattern. When I'm done with that, then I'm just going to paint the claws. And that's it for Grim. Now comes Limbo. So um, Limbo has that uh, second uh, green on the back which needs completely covering up and replacing with the same brown that is on the first half of the body. So I'm going to do pretty much the same thing that I did with Grim, extending the main pattern color all the way down to the tail and then I am going to surround the edge of the pattern with some off-white. And then I'm coloring in all of the claws that uh, this Limbo figure uh, doesn't have painted at all. This is the laziest one that Mattel's done because it is lacking the white stripe completely. The other two figures have the white stripe, that, uh, but it only goes up to the hips. And yeah, this one doesn't have any at all. When I saw the, um, when I saw the promotional pictures, they actually had uh, different brown instead of the green on the back uh, which is odd but um, man I was just so upset um, with it it's just it's it's upsetting for me because I am a designer uh, I, I, I I have a degree in model design this is literally my job uh, I have worked on movies but models is my job I know what I'm talking about and designing toys is part of it and the fact that they just choose such odd decisions is mind-boggling to me. Um, I just really can't wrap my head around it because it makes no sense. Uh, Budget-wise, as well as uh, just aesthetics-wise uh, too, it almost seems like the different sections of the company uh, have uh, trouble with uh, feedback and just talking to each other. Uh, which I guess is makes sense for a big company or like a really massive company like Mattel but still this stuff shouldn't happen I'm aware that fans aren't the main target of these figures children are a big part of it too kids don't want half painted figures I know that because I was a kid and I hated that <laughs> anyway limbo's done uh, time to move on Okay, so with Chaos, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to carry on painting the main pattern all the way down to the tail and adding it on the thighs because this figure is lacking paint on the legs too. When I'm done with that, then I'm going to surround the edges of the pattern with some off-white again. 
then I'm going to color in all of the claws. And that's pretty much it. That's it for all of them. So what I've done is literally just carry on the paint scheme uh, all the way down to the tail. I didn't go crazy with the paint job, I just did what Mattel should have done in the first place. If there is uh, any chance that anyone at Mattel is watching this, uh, it's pretty chances are pretty slim, but please don't cut corners. The Jurassic fan base uh, has suffered enough with that, with the, the whole Hasbro incident. And uh, I think we should all do with better quality products. For the price, they should definitely have the paint going all the way down the body, not halfway. These are £20 each, which is uh, more than the initial Roar of Ore figures, which were £15 and had the paint apps going all the way down the body and painted toe claws. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and thanks so much for watching you guys rock and i'll catch you later i would like to give a massive thank you to all of my patreons seriously guys your support really does mean the world to me as it helps me do what i love for you you help me buy materials and most of all you give me a helping hand with improving the quality of the content of my videos even if it's just a small donation every little helps If you like my videos, please press the like button and you could uh, consider subscribing. It's free. Oh, and don't forget to press the notification bell button because you don't want to miss any of my new stuff, right? I'm going to say bye now because when you got to go, you got to go. I will see you in the next one.